Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Caleb, and welcome to another reaction video. And of course, it's, as always, it's Anime America. Uh, I just finished up a game recording of the Walking Dead series. Uh, it's season one, episode one, of course. So, uh, since season three is going to be coming out at the uh, around the middle of December, I figured since I wanted to get it done, I might as well go and try to get all season one, the DLC, and then season two done before it all gets out. So, yeah. But anyways, what I'm going to be reviewing, well not reviewing, but reacting to today is the top 10 fathers in anime. And they already show Maka's dad uh, from uh, <laughs> Soul Eater, so this should be great. Ay, ay, ay. Without any further ado, let's go. Spoiler warning. Following scenes may contain spoilers, so you have been warned. Yeah. What? Oh my god. Okay. This is an older one. Happy Father's Day, everyone. Oh, okay. Oh, hey. We're actually doing the list you all been requesting. <laughs> Okay, that makes sense then. Parental guardians and adopted parents will be saved for another list entirely. Don't you worry about that. Okay. Said, here is Anime America's top ten fathers in anime. Okay, that makes sense. Number ten. <laughs> Okay, people, put down your pitchfork <laughs> and hear us out on this. Is Hughes an incredible person? Yes. yes. Is he one hell of a family man? Yep. Hell yes. Did we get to see him demonstrate how awesome he is as a father? Not as much as the other dads on our list. Mm, and that's what yeah. it all boils down to. Hughes was an incredible character to watch. <laughs> Not only was he a dedicated father to his own daughter, but he was also a great second father to the Elwood brothers. Aww. If he had lasted a little longer on the show, we may have seen more fatherly moments with this incredible man. We know he uses an icon in the anime community, and to be fair, he deserves his status. He's kind and loving to his wife and daughter, Alicia. Hell, Hugh's life is his family. He's the borderline obnoxious father who's always insisting that you look at his damn kid despite you having seen it a thousand times. <laughs> Thank you for not playing that at all. That's really great. That helps out a lot. Excuse me, I need to go drown my emotions in pie. Poor Fuse. Bojido Izumi from Lucky Star. Bojido is a writer, photographer, and a hardcore otaku who fell in love with a sweet woman named Kanaka. She was his muse, his inspiration, and his dream. They were a pretty happy couple since they got married and had a beautiful daughter together. Unfortunately, Hanukkah's illness caught up to her, and she passed away shortly after their daughter's birth. Mm. Now, you don't really get to see him grieve in the show, but just take a look at the screenshot as an example. The man lost his love and the mother of his child. Even with all the pain he suffered from Hanukkah's death, he still carried on to raise one of the coolest characters in anime, Konata Izumi. <laughs> like father, like daughter, Sojido kept to his character and raised his daughter to appreciate the things he likes. He takes her to conventions, watches anime with her, <laughs> and even bribes her to study harder with gaming consoles. Oh, that's now, cool. Ask me, well, is his relationship realistic? I can say without a doubt, yes. I would know since this is pretty much me and 
my dad. I develop my love for nostalgia, Disney history, and animation because my dad is a bona fide nerd. So yeah, I could relate to this father-daughter relationship. Overall, we were able to get one of the funniest. This will probably be me. So yeah. Knew nothing about that. Okay. Tatsuo Kizukabe from my neighbor Totoro. My name is Totoro. Now, I know the main focus of the story is around Totoro and the two little girls. <laughs> this man is just a great person. Not only is he a college professor and the father of two little girls, but he also cares for his sick wife who has to stay at the hospital for her treatment. Hmm. Now that's dedication. He has a serious career, but he still has time to look after his two girls. My eyes being blocked by the beanie. So. This man is just a great A family man. There he also go. listens to his girls very well. In a lot of movies, whenever kids talk about seeing a strange creature of some sort, the parents will automatically laugh it off as kid stuff or scold them for lying. Tatsuo will not only believe the girls, but he also encourages their curiosity as he talks to them more about Totoro. <laughs> so we basically have a genuine family man who truly loves his daughters and gives them the attention any kid needs. What more do you need? Tatsuo is a great dad. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, again, pitchforks. Now, Ronko Fukuoka is a kick-ass dad. He respects Haruhi, raised her by himself after the death of his wife, and allows his child to express whatever gender identity they please. To a lot of you, I know that last point may not mean a lot, but there are many people who look up to Haruhi and Ronko because of this. And even if you don't, you can applaud Ronko's acceptance of this, even though he never bats an eye at it. However, he okay. has one minor flaw. Shotgun Dadism. Even then, it's his devotion to his rather mature Haruhi that endears Ronka to the masses and makes the guy stand out in the anime community. To me, the best example of this is when the Lobelia girls kidnap Haruhi. Oh, and God. And the host club to get Haruhi free. So here's to you, Ronka. Oh god, not this one. Okay, so I know how you all are wondering how this guy. Would ever make it onto a list of best dads? Well, let me introduce you to one Holly Kujo. Holly is the light of Joseph's life and he treats her well. So when her son thinks he's going crazy and an evil vampire just ends on the body of your grandfather, causes her to become sick, what do you do? You fly to Japan to help with Jotaro and Steve, gather a ragtag team of stand users, including a dog for some reason, and track his ass down to Egypt to kill the son of a bitch for good. I know Joseph can be over the top, and a lot of his screen time isn't exactly focused on Holly, but he does help take care of Jotaro, and he does save her, which does earn him Father of the Year material. And for everyone asking, yes, I know about Part 4's Josuke. For God's sakes, everyone knows about Josuke. And I know Joseph wasn't a good father to him at first, but he grew to be. Overall, Grandpa Joestar proves to be JoJo's most bizarrely good father. And now for something completely messed up. Naruto got a fox for his birthday. Vegeta is a good dad, I will say. Vegeta is a good dad. Why? Because he has one hell of a character arc. He starts out as a selfish bastard who cares more for his pride than anything else in the universe. He is the prince of all Saiyans. He's supposed to be a strong warrior, stronger than Kakarot. All of that changed when he became a father. I'm sure it wasn't intentional. If anything, I think Team Four Star had a more accurate portrayal as to how it all went down. Giggity. <laughs> Yeah. Not only did he perform ridiculous acts to protect his only home and his family. 
family, but he flipped out when Beatles slapped his wife. That's my Yeah! Oh, when I saw this, you have no idea how hyped I got. He took that like a champ and came back with twice as much. Yeah. Good going, Goku. Also, on another note, you can't really say Goku helped raise his kids when Piccolo did most of the work for him. With all that in mind, Vegeta is obviously a better father in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. With transformation from a selfish prince into a proud father, he earns a spot at number five. Yeah. At least the dream was actually there. Have you noticed something about this loss? Her no matter how much 
much danger is in front of her. You can't say the man doesn't try. Oh my God, does he try? He tries all the time in this institution. <sighs> he become. He becomes annoying he tries so hard. See that. So you like the show? Not really. What the fuck? Oh, just wait for my review. In the meantime, here's a oh, shout out to all of the awesome dads out there.
I might just send them to this out. My dad right here, the voice, uh, the original narrator of the gamers, Doug Born here. Hey there, happy Father's Day from Anime America. Have a great day, folks. Never mind, I don't think I'm going to cut it out. I think I'm just going to leave it right there. Alright. Well, I think that was an okay list. I liked seeing most of those fathers and everything. I thought Vegeta was perfect, to be perfectly honest. I, oh god. Vegeta was good. I'm interested about Bleach, though, seeing, uh, seeing Ichigo's dad. So, apparently, Ichigo's dad is a Soul Reaper. Okay. That seems interesting, at the very least. Hmm. Well, let me double check this. Okay. Okay, I got like four minutes left on this, uh, camera. I don't know what the hell I'm freaking talking about. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button down there. Comment if you guys got any more anime America videos. I don't know why I said it like that. Anime. <sighs> it's been a long day. kind of tired. It's four o'clock. Haven't eaten lunch, so. Subscribe if you guys want to subscribe for more of all these videos and future gaming content to return on my channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I guess until next time, I will see you guys later.